everybody. People seem to like these Goodwill videos and I found something that I've never seen before and is pretty damn awesome. This is the grid powered by Goodwill and it's pretty much all electronics and more importantly mostly video games and accessories. Got a nice Atari 2600 going here. Genesis 3. Dreamcast is 34. PS1 for 19. And this uh, Genesis Model 1 is coming with me. Yoink. So then we have stuff like Universal Remotes for two or three bucks. Couple DVDs, various cables, headphones, phone stuff. Then we start getting into controllers. Random routers. Almost as many wall warts as I just threw away from my collection. Video cables. Then we've got some aftermarket controllers here. Some Wii stuff. We've got a Sega light phaser for $14. Memory cards. AV cables are always a nice thing to have extras of or to Replace. I need a new one for my GameCube. We've got some Game Boy Advances for 20 bucks here. Some GameCube aftermarket controllers. We have some OEM NES controllers for 10 bucks. This zapper here. Eight bucks, but I'm tempted. But I'd rather get a Genesis because I've been wanting one of those for a while. And of course, nobody has N64 controllers anymore, they might as well not exist. Then you've got your weird SCART adapters. Do we get into some of the newer stuff like Xbox controllers? V-Reader? Not familiar with this one, it's really on an educational system. Oh, Leapster, yeah. And everyone's favorite genre, the guitar game, rhythm game section. Where there's a million mics and a million guitars. But not at that great of prices from what I've seen. DJ Heroes, controllers 10 bucks. All kinds of useless plastic to wrap around your Wii controllers. This whole area is just a bunch of generic crappy old computers and stuff, which isn't very interesting. But uh, they have games for most of the classic systems here. Portables, we've got DS titles. PSPs. Good old GBAs, two bucks, nine bucks. Let me get to the good stuff, the N64 games. So in between two and ten dollars, I'm gonna have to go through some of these Genesis games here and get myself something nice to start off with. Combat. Combat. Snass and full effect. 
and then lots of pedals and racing wheels and so forth. I just found another set of consoles here. Let me see if I can find a better price. Same price, no controllers. Same price. The price is pretty much standardized. Model 2 Super NES is 70. First one's 50. And 64 for 39. And we have other electronics accessories. We have some old sound cards, a dock for ancient handhelds, some cases for ancient phones, and ancient tablets. And a whole assortment of computer parts. That's a sharp calculator here with the printer, what do I want for that? 19 bucks. Nice. Well, they even have them in a nice bag for you. Ten one hundred eight port VPN router. That is not worth 15 bucks. We've got our PS2s are going for 10 bucks. As are the PS2 Slims. Ten bucks for uh, Xbox 360, but they have actual components like your Molex power connectors, Ethernet adapters. Of course, everyone needs a good. Oh, it said US Robotics. It, it fooled me. I thought it was a modem. I was going to get excited there for a second. Video cards are these. Oh, they're various. We got AMDs, ATI Radeon. Oh, apparently some tablets over here. And what may look like trash, but is uh, definitely going to be appreciated by someone. A bunch of drive sleds and mounting hardware. Very small amount of speakers, audio gear. But we do have Raspberry Pi and Arduino stuff. So if you're looking to do yourself a retro pie, you know, you're good to go. Although from what I hear, the orange pie is just as good and costs less. This place probably has more electronic components soldering tools, multimeters, and accessories. Jumper pins, I need jumper pins, give me that. Give me that one, mine. This battery's about to die here. Keeps wanting to pop up and tell me. But they have a lot of unique controllers, a lot of USB ones. Some empty cases. A few I've never seen before. This is a nice micro switch one. And that's about it. But yeah, the grid by Goodwill. Good stuff. If you've got one near you, go check it out.